like everybody I know that's had back surgery, it's just like nobody has one. It's like a Lay's potato chip, you know? Hey, how many back? So I heard you had back surgery. Yeah, this is my fourth one. Because mm. as soon as they start fucking fusing shit, mm. put, putting hardware in, that makes the disc on the bottom of it and then on the top of it fucking go bad. It's just like it's a nightmare. So I, and I've got stenosis, which means my spinal column is 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 narrowing. So, and and the, when I first talked to the doctor down at Bio Accelerator, he said, "Your back is is so advanced. You know, you think about fucking thirty years of fucking hitting that fucking wood, and so mm-hmm. and so much of that is when you, you know you you fucking hit it. I mean, you end up hitting on your tailbone." You know, every time I I drop somebody in a sidewalk slam, I fucking was was landing on my ass, and those fucking bottom, you know, five or six vert, uh, vertebrae uh, in your lumbar region are just getting compressed, and that was Hulk. You know, Hulk dropped that leg so many times. I was gonna say he's exactly who came to mind when you said that. That yeah. leg drop, you're taking that, oh. into, and because one was raised. You're yep. taking that on one side more than the other. Yeah, you 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 oh. you rounding that hip, and then on top of that, you know, Terry was three thirty. You know, he was three hundred thirty yeah. pounds. True, true, of course. Yeah, you know, he was a big fucking dude. Yeah. So, and I I remember seeing his X-rays of the, and the, and I heard that when they went they uh, just did uh, surgery on Shawn Michaels. Mm-hmm. Not too long ago, because he was having just incredibly, his back was killing him. And when they took the bolts out, because he worked with, after he had the, the, the surgery, the bolts and screws and everything, it looks like they've been just tied in knots. Ooh. So, you know, I, I remember seeing Hulks, and they, they, they looked like S's. And this is supposed to be straight pieces of hardware that were going through your, you mm-hmm. know. So the the amount of damage, so I was just like, fuck. So when, when I went and I got it done, and then <clears throat> it probably took two or three months, and I was doing one-legged like, leg extensions with 20 pounds, and fucking eight reps was fucking all I could get. And I was doing, I, I, I've got a, a, a gym in, in, in my town that's got uh a, a leg press that you can take the pen out in the middle and do each leg separately. Mm-hmm. So I'd have fucking five plates on my right leg, which is my fucking knee replacement leg, and then my good leg, I'd have two two plates and struggling to get 12. And as time went, slowly, 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 like I remember one time I was, I was getting out of the shower and Tamara said, she said, your leg's coming back. And I said, what do you mean? She goes, your hamstring, like your whole leg is starting to come back. And then it's just slowly, like each month. And now it's been uh, right at a year since I had the uh, the treatment done. And like, fuck, man, like both of my legs have gotten bigger. Like, like I was training legs yesterday and I was just like, fuck, man, like, that's like, and I didn't get my my back fused. You know, I got stem cells. But you knew in advance to do. So many people, myself included, you trust your doctor, right? Like you, yeah. you, you, you kind of are led down the path. And some, I mean, they're they're great. Some are great. They'll they'll lay out the odds for you and say, you know, this here, and if not that here, and they lead you down the path. Then I, I feel like there are some that are probably very fast to the knife. Of course. And we don't know better. Well, my whole thing is, I, I mean, and maybe because I've been an athlete my whole life, like the, the, the last thing you want is, is anything to your spine for them to put a knife to it. Because every nerve in your body runs out of your spinal cord. Yeah, yeah. And the chance of it fucking not, something not getting severed is. Mm. 
people fuck up elbow surgeries every day. You know, I, I'm not giving them my fucking spine. Yeah. And you said the odds of like with the back surgery, yeah, it, of it, not needing additional oh, are very, very. And it's just. So when I looked into it, I found there was a guy down in Florida. It was the Duke Institute. But, you know, I talked to him, and his procedure was they, he, he used, like, a, a laser technique. And it, it looked like I thought, well, if I've got to get surgery, this this looks like the option. And then I, I, I start talking to the – and it's not covered. It's not covered by insurance. And I'm like, if it's not covered by insurance – it's and then I'm going down to fucking South America because I already know what they can do. But the doctor down in South America was was in, in, in bioaccelerator was not 100 percent sure that I would get the results that that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, of course we'll 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 treat you. He said um, because you've got so many other things going on with your shoulders, you know, and everything, and your knee. He said, so we'll treat you there. He says, but he said, I, I don't know how, how, how that's going to go moving forward. And then when I talked to him after three months and told him, he was kind of like, um, like, wow. And I was, I said, I, I, told, I told him my, my wife this a couple of days ago. I said, I can't state enough how blessed I am to have found BioAccelerator. Like that is my, it's, it's my fountain of youth. They reached out to you? There was a, there was a young guy uh, at the time, it was, his name was Dave Truitt, and I met him in... Where do I know that name? Where would I know him? I don't Dave know. Truitt. Was he in the know. business? No, but he okay. was he was around the business. He, he was he was he was the, uh, the the first guy. Joey's down there now, taking care of us. But he was the first like uh, advocate for for the athletes okay. to get to get us down there because like it's like anything else, you know. Until you like to me when 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 I'm down there and I, Jeremy Piven. Uh, and Slash, like Slash was down there the last it time sounded, I was down there. It was there. his hand, right? It was this carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel, yeah. From playing guitar. But it was it was also his fucking knees. You know, his knees were just fucking... Just, running around on stage. Yeah, and, running around and jumping and doing all that shit. But to me, it was Tony Hawk. You think of how many times Tony Hawk has fucking fallen off that board and hit that fucking wood gimmick you know oh god so him and his son both went down to bio accelerator and it was like fucking it, it, it was li life changing for both of them and it's life changing for every single person that goes down there i don't know anybody that uh, doesn't say i mean it, it's like if you're paralyzed and you go down there and all you get out of it is the fact that you can move your big toe. You were paralyzed before. That's that's true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, 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 it's it's huge. And for me to get my leg back, true, it was like 